Gemini. How are my Gemini viewers tonight? I hope you are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Welcome back to all my old and new subscribers. If you're brand new to my channel, please click subscribe down below um, so that we can stay connected. No need to hit the bell. Just click subscribe. I, I upload. I'm going to be uploading so many. The bell will be a little bit too much. So, you know, hit subscribe. Watch it when you can. All right. Gemini. 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 It's really funny. So I did a reading earlier for Gemini. And I feel like it's somebody, uh, one of my neighbors, because I was reading it. I was going, oh, <laughs> I don't know their son. I'm not even going to ask either. <laughs> but Gemini, welcome. We are going to cut the deck for you. I've done this for a couple other signs tonight. Gemini, we have the Death card. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Scorpio. We have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is Sagittarius energy. We have the Knight of Coins. The Queen of Coins and the Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. All right, so I'm seeing fire, earth, and then Scorpio energy. Um, so, you know, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Scorpio. Um, just to be clear, though, you don't have to be dealing with any of those signs. I'm only calling them out because I know that y'all like to hear them sometimes. Um, Gemini, Gemini, your overall energy is the King of Wands. I feel like this is you harnessing the energy of the King of Wands. It's you gaining your confidence back. Um, you becoming very bold, being, um, one of those people who kind of like takes charge, but also does so in a way that's kind of charming and charismatic. Um, he can be a little bit on the hot-headed side, clearly, as we see from the card. But overall, the King of Wands is somebody who's very passionate, very bold, and very confident. I see this weekend, Gemini, that you've got that confidence, okay? Confidence. You are putting to rest something from the past in order to have a new beginning. I feel like this is a past relationship you're having to let go of. Um, it's uh, how long ago that relationship ended. It's hard to say. It could have been any period of time um, prior to this video, but I feel like you're letting go of that in order to open up for something new. Um, with this Nine of Wands, this is you being perseverant, you kind of keeping on, pushing forward, despite this ending, pushing forward, knowing that something better is coming down the road, and um, you know, being battle-worn but not weary. Battle worn but not weary. Now I see that because of this hurt from your past, Gemini, you're going to want to move very slowly with regards to love situations. Very slowly. Slow movement. You may actually kind of like rush in and stop and pull back, and rush in and stop and pull back. And uh, so you have a lot of passion here. With this knight of wands and there may be that desire to like charge forward because of that but this knight of coins energy pulls you back so it's almost like you're trying to like move towards somebody but every time you do you stop yourself because you're like oh no i can't get hurt again um we have this queen of coins looking over at our knight I feel like the knight is you. Whether you're a male or a female does not matter. Whether you're dealing with a male or a female does not matter. It's just the genders that are on the card. But I see this knight of coins looking over here at this, at, or this queen of coins looking over here at this knight like, why do you keep running away? You keep running away. Why do you keep running away? But being caring and loving and kind about it, it's kind of like, okay. Gemini needs to Gemini needs to run. All right, I will give to Gemini and let Gemini run. That's what the Queen of Coins does, because the Queen of Coins. Oh, somebody's 
Somebody's just stepped up. My nose is itchy again. I'm wondering if the queen of the queen of coins is putting on a false face. I didn't get it till we started talking about her. Hold on a minute. I'm going to take a card here. I want to know why is the Queen of Wands okay with Gemini backing away? Why is the Queen of Coins okay with Gemini backing away from the connection? Two steps forward, three steps back. Why is the Queen of Wands okay with that? Palace of Wands. Because of the passion between the two of them. She knows he's going to step forward towards her. <sighs> That's interesting. Okay. All right. I'm saying her because of this female on the card and him because of the knight. This could be female, female, male, male, you know, female, male, male, female. Okay. So don't get confused by the genders that I'm saying. She's okay with him backing away. So he's moving forward because he's got this passionate energy towards her, but he's backing away because he's afraid to be hurt. She's okay with that, but I was getting this, you know, deceptive thing going on. And what the reason why she's okay with that is because she knows he's going to come back towards her. So the passion and the chemistry is so hot between the two of you. So hot between you. So hot between you. I don't, Gemini, I don't think you can resist this person, actually. I think, like, you know, you're taking those steps forward and you're running back and you're taking steps forward a little bit more and you're running back. But this person knows you got the hots for them and you're going to turn around and you're going to, like, come right back at them. <laughs> but I do see you here in this reminiscent energy of the lost love that you walked away from. Um, so I feel like if you do move towards this person right now, it may be a little bit too soon for you because you're still thinking about your ex. You may feel a little bit guilty because you had such a deep connection with your ex if you move towards somebody else. Um, that's what I'm seeing, Gemini. So just be cautious of that. But have fun if you can. <laughs> just saying. All right. I'm a little jealous. My Pisces didn't get any passionate energy, I don't think. I don't know. I'll have to go back and watch Pisces. All right. What have we got for Gemini and Gemini's earthbound princess here? <laughs> Oop. Okay. We have healing family issues. So... Family issues may be causing a problem with your new connection, Gemini, whomever that is. Um, so however you were raised, some preconceived notions that you had um, could be affecting this connection as well. And then we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at play in your love life. I feel like worth waiting for is the message for your person, your love interest here, whomever this is. Because you're the one who keeps like, you you go forward and then you pull back. And you go forward and you pull back. And so I feel like this card is talking to the cross watcher that this person is worth waiting for. All right, Gemini, have a beautiful weekend. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be an interesting one. Um, but good luck to you. I hope all goes well. And uh, enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.